Good morning, beach bums. I'm headed out to the beach this morning, so I am pumped. I had a last minute reschedule for a trip today, so I am fishing by myself. I figured I'd take the day off and do some fishing. And I'm driving, so I'm not looking at the camera. I'm trying to watch the road while I'm driving. Today, there is no agenda. I'm just fishing. Just fishing because fishing's fun, and I want to catch some fish. So, <laughs> we're going to see what we can get into, but what's going on right now we are catching whiting uh, a few pompano there are some pompano trickling in here for the fall so have a shot at those if i get some of those probably going to keep them to take home for dinner probably going to throw most everything else back unless i get a slot redfish but we do have some bulls that are moving in they're not really here good yet but uh, they're trickling in as well catching a lot of pinfish so if i do catch some of those i plan on keeping those and rigging something up to throw some pinfish out live to hopefully catch maybe a bull redfish or something. So, no plans, just fishing. We'll see what happens. I'm getting rigged up with my Carolina rig uh, for pinfish or a croaker if we catch one today. I've got a 4 aught circle hook on a 50 pound mono leader going to a barrel swivel and then I'm tying on some more 50 pound mono leader maybe just uh, two to two and a half feet maybe and this is going to be for our weight and what I'm doing here, so we've got 50 pound mono leader to the swivel, to the hook. And I'm just going to slide on, on this top piece here, which this is what I'm going to connect to my main line. I'm gonna slide on a bead just to protect that knot right there because I've got a weight that I'm gonna put on, just a pyramid sinker on this snap swivel here. So that'll slide around just a little bit. It's not gonna slide a lot because I like keeping that weight off of my braid. So what I'm gonna do here is tie on another swivel. So this is a pretty heavy rig. You know, this is for bigger redfish and possibly a shark if they get hooked right. A shark will still cut this 50 pound mono, but I, I hate using wire. I don't like using it if I don't have to. So I try to avoid it. And there we go, we have our rig. So I've got a swivel here that I'll just attach to my main line, my braid, going down to a snap swivel that's gonna slide there with the pyramid sinker to a bead that's just a protector knot, to another swivel, to our actual leader here to our 40 hook. So uh, this is just a Carolina rig, but you know, it's a little bit different, a little more hardware just to make it easier to cast and to protect your braid and sit out there. Anyway, it works good. So the pompano have been hanging pretty deep, pretty far anyway, from the beach. So really having to try to just chunk it out there if you're gonna luck up and catch one right now. Not a ton of them around and the water, it, it, it is changing. <laughs> so much day to day right now I mean it was two days ago it was dirty pretty dirty yesterday it was crystal clear and today it's dirty again so I can't figure out you know what's going on here I don't know why <laughs> it's changing so rapidly but uh, usually dirty water is not good for pompano but we are having better success on those days for whiting so maybe some whiting and redfish will want to play around, but uh, still fingers crossed on a pompano, you never know. So on the two rods that I've got way out there, I've got just fish bites, looking for pompano, just letting those sit. We've got a lot of pinfish, a lot of croakers. So if I put shrimp on there, they're just gonna be like all over and it's gonna be gone immediately anyway. So just using the fish bites. 
And then this, uh, these little rigs in close, looking for whiting and pinfish. I've got just shrimp on them. Might end up putting a fish bite on. Looks like we got a fish already. Here we go. Oh, that feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah. What do we got here? We got some tug. Oh, I think we got a, a whiting on. Feels like it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad fish to start the day. Heck yeah. Might have a fish on that one too. Might have a decent whiting bite today. This would be a keeper. I would totally throw him in the cooler, but I'm not keeping these guys today. I'm looking for some pompano, maybe a redfish. But this would be a delicious northern kingfish right here. Beautiful. Thank you, buddy. Cool. All right, let's see. Looks like we had some action on this. Let's see if he's still here. Nope, I think this one got away from me. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, see if we can get another decent whiting. If I get like a stud, I'm probably gonna throw them in the cooler, but <laughs> I just didn't want to get like a, we don't need a ton of fish, you know, for me and my wife. So I don't, I don't want to keep like a bunch of, you know, decent keeper size whiting. I just want, I just want a couple of fish to take home to clean. And we got a heron trying to get my bait over here. Hey, buddy. Hey. Woo walk away, man. Just walk away. Walk away. All right. Oh, 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 look at that hit. Oh, look at that hit. Yes. We got a good thing going here. Come here, buddy. I think he crossed he cross all the way over. He is all, oh, no, no, no. Did he get away? No, he's still here. Man, he hit it hard. Uh, across that line i think we got something over here Woo. on this other line too well the whiting bite seems to be doing all right let's see yeah got another got another we've had a ton of pinfish around really like to get some pins oh oh yeah Woo. this guy's got some tug baller yes man this is great these are some good whiting this would be great to take home for dinner oh they're so delicious so fun to catch on the light tackle man it's a blast it's gonna be a good day gonna be a good day get you back and this is our other one that oh old boy swallowed it he swallowed it yeah all right well we're gonna throw you in the cooler Hopefully we'll just get some more fish and we'll uh, be able to add to it because uh, you aren't going to make it, buddy. There it is. Look at that. Golly, we got some nice whiting out here this morning. Real nice whiting. Yes. Oh, yes. they are fired up this morning it's every cast right now it's happening fast this is one of the smaller ones but he hit it he hit it hard he'd be a keeper man solid whiting bite this morning so just using a piece of shrimp that no fish bites on this just a small piece of shrimp on this little pompano rig it's a 10 pound test um i'm actually using size six hooks right now on these so they're real small for these whiting seems to work pretty well Let's see if we can get another one here real fast There it is, there it is. Oh, hit and swim in, I think. Yep. Oh, this might be a pin. Might be a pin fish. Or just a really small one. Oh, no. That, <laughs> he woke up. That's a whiting. He woke up. There we go. It is happening fast.
Oh. Oh. I think we got a decent lighting here. He hit and swam in. Oh yeah, he's pulling. Yes. Come here, buddy. It was like a decent one. Oh, my line is all the way over here. That's why it felt heavy. Ooh, I did not realize the current was that bad. Oh yeah, that's my other line over there. Looks like the current. Pulled my line. All right, see you, buddy. We got our first pinfish. Woohoo! All right, so let's get this guy in the live well going here. Come here, buddy. Thank you for getting hooked. Let's see if we can catch a nice bull red with you. There we go. Got another fish. They're biting good today. Good. Yes, this is another whiting. One of the smaller ones that we caught today. Did he swallow it too? You gotta be kidding me, man. You're not supposed to swallow circle hooks. Not supposed to. You must not have got that memo. There we go. Another fish. Got a fish on over there. We got craziness going on right now. This is a pin. Yes. That's bait right there. That's bait. What do we got over here? Oh, yeah. This is a whiting. Got to be. Oh, you get away. Nope, nope. Swimming in. Swimming in. Swimming in fast. Like a pompano. Swimming all the way in. There we go. I, uh, I've decided to start keeping these guys because I've killed two now. I'm swallowing the hook. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep enough to freeze for a meal later. I don't normally freeze fish, but whiting freeze pretty pretty decent. And uh, if you're going to fry them anyway, it, you can't really tell much difference between fresh and frozen. So I'll keep some of those for a meal for later and maybe we can get a pompano or redfish for a fresh meal but i have removed the rods that i had out deep because the current is evidently a little bit stronger than i thought and just letting that bait sit out there they, they were crossing my other lines so i've moved those out come here there we go man these are great <laughs> great bait size right here yeah we're gonna get one of these out here in just a minute see if we can find a big bull swimming around here that's kind of his defense mechanism you know those things will poke you and these fish may think it's a hook or something so might as well oh, go ahead and cut that off uh, it looks nice and tasty now gonna hook him in the butt here go we are going for a bull out there bull redfish we got some coming through so see if we can get one to, to strike i think we got a good opportunity here i don't want to get it too far out there but i want to get it far enough out just on the back side of that bar don't really want it to cuba but I want it out there. Uh, let's go. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Want to set your drag loose? Uh, this is just a PVC pipe that I got it in. Uh, a lot of people have asked me if I've ever lost a rod. I have yet to lose a rod. But you just want to set the drag pretty loose. You just want to make sure that this fish can take it and run because obviously if we get hooked up on this it's going to be something decent so <laughs> you want to make sure you got plenty of drag well it's been pretty slow still caught some more whiting and pinfish plenty of those jokers around mainly pinfish right now it's been a while since i've checked in with you guys 
Uh, nothing on the live pinfish. I've still got a few live ones in my live well. I did cut one up though and put out a piece of cut bait. So just changing things up a little bit. Still fishing close with these guys, but taking a break right now because it's again mainly pinfish. The water's really dirty. I don't think we're gonna have a shot at a pompano, but I might put some fish bites back out far here in a little bit. My wife and mother-in-law are on their way. They're gonna be fishing with me, so I'll have some company here in just a minute. Trail on it. Yeah. Oh, I Yeah, he's swimming in on you. Yeah, that's a whiting. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll throw him in the cooler. It's the first whiting in a while. My little baby fish, Aunt Weasley. You see it? You look at the fish. What do you think about the fish? Can you touch it? Look, can you touch him? Come touch him. You want to touch him? Look. There you yeah, go. Do it again. You know, like it's slimy. Oh, <laughs> it's slimy, isn't it? <laughs> She's wiping her hand off. It's Courtney's birthday today, <laughs> so we're gonna try to get her a fish. We're trying to get something big, but uh, none of the none of the big fish want to play around today. Big. Yeah. See if we can get a big whiting. How about that? Okay. They're delicious. Go ahead and reel in that slack. Reel in the slack. Yeah, he's on. He's on. There he is. There he is. Courtney's got them. That looks like a decent fish. Feel heavy? No. It's probably a pinfish. A pinfish? Courtney, Courtney's good at making little fish look big. <laughs> Nothing. See? You lost him. Man. That's not a good birthday present. <laughs> All right, let's get you a fish. All right, Courtney, this is the one. This is the one right here. Courtney and Annalise are putting the good luck on the <laughs> on the big sticks here. You gotta touch it so it brings good luck. Yeah. yeah, touch it just like that. There you go. There you go. You gonna catch a big fish? Yeah. You gonna catch a big one? Yeah, you got a fish. Yay. It's probably a pinfish, but <laughs> we got one. Better than reeling in just the bait. That's right. Oh, 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 he's fighting. Might be a whiting. Yeah, all right. The keeper. We got a fish. He's kind of small. Yeah, we can keep him. I've got some that size. There you go. Yay. Birthday fish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. Him in like two bites. Yeah. Some nuggets. Well, we couldn't find any big fish, but caught a lot of whiting, so that was fun. But again, this was just fishing, just out here having fun. We put some baits out, some live baits, some of those uh, live pin fish that we kept catching, but nothing was interested. I even cut one up, couldn't find anything, but uh, but hey, it was a nice day on the beach. My wife's birthday. So we had a good time hanging out. It was beautiful out here today. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. And as always, you stay bummy.